a ouvert des là pour les musulmans. Mais c'est un prix pour tous les mois Pour tous les trois. Et pour un, une journée okay. Oh, et pour deux jours, pour tous les deux jours. Oh, deux Ça jours Il n'y a pas de différence. Un carnet de ticket pour le bus. Pour le bus. Mais est-ce qu'avec ceci, on peut aller à l'étape pour euh, tout le temps mieux Tout le temps mieux. Je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas. Quand on était dans un autre bus avant, on voulait arrêter, on voulait arrêter dans le petit matin. On a un stock avant ceci. Le quartier est ouvert, mais c'est vraiment notre dame qui est là. Merci. Merci. is in the psychological layering and the colors that he uses. Um, there was another patron in the gallery when we were there uh, and when she left we, we got to converse with him. Now it's interesting that of the artists that we saw in France so many seem to be depicting this psychological layering in colors, which I didn't see any of back in, in 2003 when I was in France. So I think this speaks to a lot as to what the art world is contending with now. We're, we're talking about dysfunctionality, we're talking about distortion, we're talking about mental illness. And we're talking about the need of art itself to break through the shape of our current destiny so that we can reconsider the modalities that The Flaneur looks at people and particularly as in this case, um, you know, what, what brought a person here and what's he feeling and, you know, how does he, he remain alive and one looks with compassion, with, with empathy, you know, there but for, you know, I. Paris is an exciting city as, as we we can wander one way down to the Seine or up the other way to the Café Les Du Mago, which is where Hemingway, Picasso, André Breton, uh, Jean-Paul Sartre, Simone de Beauvier, all these people hung out, out there and, and many more. And uh, Paris is different for Christina even, who's been here teaching uh, several summers um, because there's so many more scooters. Well, no, there were no scooters and now they are, you know, they proliferate over the city. But Paris is made for flaneurs. You sit at the inside of your table and you look at people 
walking down the street. And this sort of mutuality of, of insight and, and uh, infusion of humanity is what makes Flannerism so attractive because with our mirror neurons we're projecting ourselves into a human image that as I say then reflects back at us in the time and space in real time in, in real city time. This, this is all who we met. Um, Christina playing the piano and that's between, we're at the rail station, uh, we're going to head back to Paris to catch our flight the next morning back home and we're taking the car rental back and we couldn't figure out the gas and for this guy helped us out, we found out we'd left the, our credit card right in the, <laughs> as a gas pump. Uh, at any rate, this is Le Du Mago and uh, a lot of interesting people and fashionable and artsy looking uh, people uh, gallivanting around uh, Le Du Mago. Um, people enjoying themselves and we're just doing what flatterers do and as we're watching people this dog steals the show and he was great and um, this imbibing and this little girl starts playing with the dog and she's having a great time and I get to pet the dog so so Jacques Prévert Hemingway um, so it's nice to cook so it's nice to cozy up to the ghosts of these uh, you know citizens of the mind and a lot of older dapper looking people uh, the woman uh, here's our beautiful lunch and uh, dapper gentleman coming to Le Du Mago and everywhere the faithful pigeon and fashionable looking Il a pas besoin de parler, il a rien qu'à me regarder, et je suis à sa merci, je ne peux rien contre lui, car mon cœur l'a choisi. Sa merci, je ne peux rien contre lui, car mon cœur l'a choisi. Si ça durera longtemps Mais je me fiche du plus tard Je veux penser qu'au présent En tout cas, il m'a dit Qu'il m'aimerait toute la vie Que la vie sera jolie Si même pour tout le temps C'est lui que mon cœur a choisi Et quand il tient contre lui, dans ses yeux caressants, je vois le ciel qui pourtant c'est bon. Here, we go. C'est une chose de couvert pour so le tour à trois pour le bois of one. Oh, I see. At Paris. Okay. From a Canadian. Wow. This is wonderful. <laughs> Fantastic. David. And uh, a image of dedication for uh, both of you. Yeah. Both okay. Yeah. So, Christina, okay. uh, with a uh, uh, you think of uh, exit. You think of uh, exit through the gift shop. Oh, I like this movie. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, you, you don't know if it's uh, a real movie uh, mystification. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Is, uh, Quasi a French guy, uh, yeah. a little dumb, but not really, uh, very dumb and clever too. Uh, yeah. 
7h jusqu'à 19h 20h vous avez les produits locaux et après vous êtes vous êtes où vous, vous, vous c'est que vous êtes là And these ducks are having a exhilarating time. And I pause to slow down the trip to reflect on the nature of immersion and reflection and particularly about France and about Paris and about the city of love and being here with my sweetheart and the whole concept of, of France post-revolution, post-bloodshed, the most informed society on the face of, of the earth, uh, existentialist philosophers, painters, novelists, all sorts of poets, and everything that culture is, is infused in the colors of France. And pigeons rule the roost in France. Later on you'll see my wife with pigeons on her arm uh, as she's <laughs> commandeered by the pigeon lady. Uh, but the, the whole scope of historical reality, uh, when it comes to the ebb and flow of, of time and, and space, is deeply reflected in, in French society. And they weren't barbarians, they evolved. They evolved because of their existentialism, they evolved because of their art, they evolved because of their fashion because they wanted to make a statement about love. Love triumphs over hate. And everywhere in France, uh, the graffiti reflects this sort of ear-to-ground reality that fits into the reflection of, of you know, the broad brush of, of history and with its ear-to-the-ground uh, notion of where France is at and, and where France is going, where the world is at and where the world is going. And that, that's deeply, um, that makes a big imprint on one visiting France. And from a personal vantage point, always having been a flaneur, a flaneur is somebody who watches people, who strolls around, 
absorbing experience and, and part of that experience is to know that Paris was once you know, invaded by Hitler 75 years ago. We're there on the 75th anniversary. And the style and the composure that exists in, in Paris and the fashion and the, the willingness to transcend the mediocre and, and the mundane is there in Paris. It, it's embodied in the bounce and, and this woman's step. It, it's embodied in the graffiti that Paris is alive and well, that it has many strata of realities and, and many beingness, the art of beingness un, unfolding. Here's one of the scooters. They were everywhere in Paris and, and uh, being in the land of graffiti where, you know, Banksy and, and Mr. Brainwash and, uh, you know, Exit Through the Gift Shop and Sigmund Freud and, and the whole incredible Oh, incredible phantasmagoria of, of art in Paris and, and the people that we've met. Here's a painting of uh, Sacré-Cœur, top of Montmartre, where we didn't get because I was inflicted with a issue that day. Uh, we had just seen a, a street artist and uh, the G7 was on in northern France. We were in Paris. This was the 75th anniversary of, of the liberation of Paris. So there were things going on. And it's important to remember that, you know, graffiti and, and the signage on the streets and, and so on reflect the day-to-day -day reality. And Hitler waltzed in, you know, for a photo op under the Arc de Triomphe. But once again, we are on the verge of the same hysteria. Humanity needs to transcend, as always, the quagmire of moral derision and diffusion uh, in acres and acres of subliminal uh, superficiality. Paris is a city of love. It's, it's a city of statement. Jazirin Khan. Uh, 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 an artist that I got to talk to. He admitted he'd make her. Uh, we met there. Here's the bridge by Montmartre the day that I almost passed out and, and had to be rushed back by taxi to the hotel. Oh, I feel sorry for me, but I, you know, I trooped on, tried to make it up to Montmartre, but we couldn't quite make those last few steps. But this is a lot of the graffiti on the way up to Montmartre. And as I say, it's important to understand the revolution from the ground up, and, and that, that's what I'm suggesting. And in this movie, you'll see the... Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Shadows on the hills Sketch the trees and the daffodils Catch the breeze and the winter chills In colors on the snowy linen land Now I understand What you trying to say to me How you suffered for your sanity How you tried to set them free They would not listen, they did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now Starry, starry nights Flaming flowers that brightly blaze Swirling clouds in violet haze Reflecting Vincent's eyes of china blue Colors change you 
morning fields of ember gray. Weathered faces lined in pain are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand. Now I understand what you tried to say to me and how you suffered for your sanity. tried to set them free they would not listen they did not know how perhaps they'll listen now for they could not love you still your love was true And when no hope was left inside on that starry, starry night, you took your life as lovers often do. But I could have told you, Vincent, this world was never meant for one as beautiful. Portraits hung in empty halls Frameless heads on nameless walls With eyes that watch the world and can't forget Like the strangers that you've met The ragged men in ragged clothes A silver thorn, a bloody rose Lie crushed and broken on the virgin snow Now I think I know What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity Set them free, would not listen, they're not listening still. Perhaps they never. Quality, quoi. Ah. Du I, know, I know Quebec, I know Montreal, wow. I know Ottawa, and I, I've been in Vancouver also. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. I do every year, I go to Dubai, to Japan, to the United States, I oh. have men's exhibition in San Francisco, in New York, oh, wow. in Paris, in Germany, in Portugal, oh, in wow. Sweden. It, it works very well. In 1990, I did an exhibition in Blore Gallery in Toronto, and uh, I did an exhibition in Brazil, Chile, Portugal, Germany, Switzerland, Dubai, Japan, Germany, Sweden, France. I work. Wow. I work Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. Oh, wow. wow. Then, I, it was 20 years ago, I left New York and in France after all this time. In my English now is not good enough. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
Vern. Wonderful. Oui, moi et maman, oui. il est français, oui. mon papa, il est serbe, yougoslavien. Ah, oh, ok. Oui, il Serbian. est tout... Tu voulais prendre que un entrée ouais. et un dessert, ouais. Ouais. mais tous deux ans. <rire> Wow, c'est super. C'est pour faire ça ou non Non, je vais le prendre. C'est pas prêt. C'est pas prêt. C'est pas prêt. C'est pas Spanish, in Poland. Oh, aujourd'hui, Madame a eu une permission. I know, je n'ai rien. Pas de zloty, pas de rupee, pas de dinar, pas de dollar, rien. Compagnero, si tu peux m'aider, je vais. Vous avez des vingt centimes. Oh, ça paye pas. Yeah. I don't speak English. Speak Spanish. And then he said to me like. You'll allow me, so I'm always going to say to you. <laughs> and we oh. are here celebrating our 50th wedding anniversary. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my And Jesus was a sailor as he walked upon the water. He spent a long time watching from his lonely.
spoken for if it be your will si c'est ta volonté qu'une voix soit vraie de cette colline brisée je te chante south of, of France. There's a market and there's this, this water and 
my wife had a great time buying some of the uh, the vegetables here. I, this urinary situation where I had to always go to the bathroom, great washroom at this market here that hosed itself down after and, and this guy <laughs> Uh, the street from the market, and it was supposed to be open, but it, it wasn't. This is profound looking stuff on the door. I would have really enjoyed this exhibit. I am exquisitely and absolutely sure. And here's my wife trying to break into the building, and here's the French police coming out from behind. Things could get ugly. Um, art and reflection you know this was a, i think the one rainy day in in paris and uh i don't know the rain well first of all color saturation is often uh wonderful in the rain uh, you don't get that diffusion that that uh, bright light uh does when it attacks pigment and deflourishes, deflowers. At any rate, the rain and, and the reflection in, in the rain and just using that moment to pause and reflect on this this journey into Paris, this journey into France, this uh, Very good. beautiful experience that, that, that we were having and, and the depth and, and resolution of that in, in memory and, and the imprints of, of taking the moment and digesting the moment and, and the colors and uh, this guy gave us directions uh, to the market when we got off the bus and it's interesting being in a part of Paris, Workaday Paris and, and the graffiti, the amazing, incredible, phantasmagorical graffiti and I know a lot of North Americans see it as defacing public property but again this ear to the ground, this uh, possibility, this potentiality of social interaction of social statement of, of you know what's really happening in in France if you want to put it that way um, is reflected at, at this this level and it is in every city uh, you know politicians may stand on you know the platform they may speak into the microphone but they don't speak the voice of, of the people and the voice of the people is going to take shape um, this woman on, on the bus, you know, a beautiful woman, and one can see her reflecting, uh, probably heading home from work, uh, digesting her day's experience and absorbing experience, and uh, that's what the trip to France was about, these Russian dolls, uh, um, the graffiti, say possible, possible, love everywhere, the city of love, the city of light, the city of pondering, the city of, of readers, readers in every park, um, and a statement uh, reiterated, here's people on the boat photographing Notre Dame, and he, uh, at sunset, and it was beautiful, and she was beautiful. And my wife was beautiful. This, this studio on that floor was things I found phenomenological in a Philistine sort of way. The you know the blockage, the alienation, the struggle, uh, always a, a human component and how this, <laughs> how she goes from canvas to canvas to canvas, you know, no, no one says Picasso that I know, with, with that sure-footed, you know, reality uh, meshing with artistic vision, and, and that's just, I just find that, you know, just horribly incredible, necessarily integrating boat on, on the Seine, what's, what's more hypnotic, what's more beautiful uh, than playing with, with the image of that river in the city of, of light and the movement and the people 
and the look and here we are at, at the Woo. Sunset uh, storybook magic. You know, this is this is the prism. This is the prism of of light, and this is me and my sweetheart, <laughs> and this is the water. Uh, my obsession with the uh, going into everything else and that fluidity that that makes up the the flow, the composite uh, journey of. And here we are. Okay, Davy Boy has given up the ghost and we're getting sort of a ricochet when they were being poked by a bicycle <laughs> but the important thing is i get to sit down because i was you know i, I push it to this limit where uh anyways where you don't need even though she sleeps upon your satin Be 